angels, and the spirit guide. Your journey toward real enlightenment begins here. This is chapters 2 and 3 from Book 2. Copyright 2023 by Gabriel William. All rights reserved, available on Amazon. For additional information contact gabwm1972 at gmail.com. Forward. Read these chapters, and your brain will become mighty. This book is highly informative, with an abundance of information. By the time you've finished reading, you'll be on your way toward enlightenment, a higher conscious understanding. The Fallacy of Consensus Introduction Truth Beyond Popular Belief Chapter 2 In a world where information flows incessantly through various channels, it's essential to emphasize that the sheer number of people believing in a subject does not necessarily validate its truthfulness. The fallacy of consensus is a cognitive trap that often leads individuals to accept something as accurate simply because it enjoys widespread belief. This essay will delve into the complexities of this phenomenon and elucidate how critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning are indispensable tools for discerning the truth. 1. The Nature of Consensus To begin, it is crucial to understand the nature of consensus. Consensus is, by definition, an agreement among a substantial number of individuals on a particular matter. In the context of beliefs, it often arises due to various factors, including cultural influences, societal norms, and psychological biases. People tend to conform to prevailing views to gain social acceptance or avoid conflict, even if they have not thoroughly examined the subject. 2. The fallacy of appeal to popularity. The fallacy of consensus is essentially an instance of the logical fallacy known as the appeal to popularity. This fallacy occurs when someone argues that a claim must be valid because it is widely accepted or believed by many. In a worldly, wise-level setting, it is essential to recognize and reject such fallacious reasoning. Believing in something solely because many others do is a precarious path that can lead to false conclusions. 3. The Role of Critical Thinking Higher levels of education foster critical thinking skills, which are essential for navigating the complexities of belief and truth. Critical thinking encourages individuals to question, evaluate, and analyze information rather than passively accepting it. When confronted with a widely held belief, wise individuals should ask probing questions, demand evidence, and assess the logical validity of the claim. 4. The Importance of Evidence-Based Reasoning in academia, truth is often established through evidence-based reasoning. This approach requires accumulating and assessing empirical evidence, logical arguments, and peer-reviewed research. To ascertain the veracity of a claim, higher-level individuals should seek reliable sources, evaluate data, and consider alternative viewpoints. The mere existence of a consensus among the general population does not substitute for the rigorous scrutiny of evidence. 5. Case Studies and Examples To illustrate the fallacy of consensus, instructors can employ case studies and real-world examples. For instance, historical events like the geocentric model of the universe or the idea that the Earth was flat enjoyed widespread consensus in the past. However, these beliefs were debunked through scientific inquiry and empirical evidence, highlighting the danger of relying on consensus alone. 6. The Summary it is imperative to convey to a knowledgeable audience that the mere prevalence of belief in a subject does not confer truthfulness upon it. The fallacy of consensus, rooted in the appeal to popularity, can lead to erroneous conclusions. Critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning are the bedrock principles of discerning truth from belief. Students must be equipped with the skills to question, evaluate, and challenge prevailing views, ensuring that their pursuit of knowledge is grounded in reason and evidence rather than consensus alone. In this way, they can rise above the fallacy of consensus and strive for a deeper understanding of the world around them. With all that being said, this statement can be true, because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. All great inventions were unseen before they were discovered. There are some highly skilled individuals whose mental sharpness reaches dimensions unknown to the ordinary human masses. With an uncanny ability, they can recall past events from thousands of years ago and predict future events. Attempting to explain this borders on the realm of mystery. 
Don't doubt them because you can't see what they see. Attempt to figure it out. Meditation and Mindfulness, Chapter 3 Embracing Inner Peace and Wellness In recent years, the practice of meditation and mindfulness has gained immense popularity, driven by a growing wellness culture and robust scientific studies that support the myriad benefits these practices offer. Meditation, once relegated to the realm of mysticism and spirituality, has now firmly established itself as a mainstream tool for enhancing mental and emotional well-being. This essay explores the profound impact of meditation and mindfulness on our lives, delving into their origins, scientific backing, and practical applications. To begin, it is essential to understand the fundamental concepts of meditation and mindfulness. Meditation is a practice that dates back thousands of years and has roots in various cultures and traditions, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Taoism. At its core, meditation involves training the mind to focus and redirect thoughts, ultimately leading to increased clarity and emotional balance. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is a specific form of meditation that emphasizes staying present in the moment acknowledging one's thoughts and feelings without judgment. These practices encourage self-awareness and the cultivation of a non-reactive, compassionate mindset. The surge in the popularity of meditation and mindfulness can be attributed to several factors. First and foremost, the fast-paced nature of modern life has led to increased stress levels and a sense of constant distraction. People are seeking refuge from the chaos of daily existence, and meditation offers a path to inner tranquility. Additionally, the internet and social media have facilitated the dissemination of information, making it easier for individuals to access guided meditation sessions, mindfulness apps, and scientific studies on the benefits of these practices. Scientific research has played a pivotal role in validating the efficacy of meditation and mindfulness. Numerous studies have shown that regular meditation can lead to a range of positive outcomes, including reduced stress, anxiety, and depression. For example, a study published in the journal Psychological Science in 2013 found that participants who underwent mindfulness meditation training showed improved working memory and cognitive flexibility. Such findings provide concrete evidence of the mental benefits of mindfulness practices. Moreover, neuroscientific studies have shed light on the impact of meditation on the brain. Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging fMRI, scans have revealed that regular meditation can lead to structural changes in the brain, particularly in regions associated with attention, emotional regulation, and self-awareness. These findings suggest that meditation has the potential to reshape the brain in ways that promote mental well-being and emotional resilience. Beyond the neurological and psychological benefits, meditation and mindfulness also profoundly impact physical health. Research has shown that these practices can lower blood pressure, boost the immune system, and improve sleep quality. Furthermore, they are often integrated into a holistic wellness approach, promoting overall health and longevity. The practical applications of meditation and mindfulness are far-reaching. They can be incorporated into various aspects of daily life to enhance well-being. One of the most accessible forms of meditation is mindfulness of breath, where individuals focus on their breath and bring their attention back whenever it wanders. This simple practice can be done anywhere and anytime, making it a valuable tool for managing stress and staying present. Mindful eating is another application of mindfulness that can transform one's relationship with food. By savoring each bite and paying attention to hunger and fullness cues, individuals can develop a healthier approach to eating. This practice encourages mindful choices and can lead to better nutrition and a more balanced relationship with food. More on this subject in a following chapter. In the realm of mental health, mindfulness-based cognitive therapy MBCT, has emerged as a powerful tool for preventing relapse in individuals with depression. MBCT combines mindfulness practices with elements of cognitive therapy, helping individuals break free from the cycle of depressive thoughts and emotions. In educational settings, mindfulness programs have gained popularity as a means of improving students' attention and emotional regulation. These programs teach children and young adults essential life skills for managing stress and building resilience. 
Businesses and organizations have also recognized the value of meditation and mindfulness in promoting employee well-being and productivity. Many companies now offer mindfulness programs as part of their employee wellness initiatives, recognizing that a mentally healthy workforce is essential for success. Meditation and mindfulness have evolved from esoteric practices to mainstream tools for enhancing mental, emotional, and physical well-being. The rise of the wellness culture and robust scientific research supporting their benefits have propelled these practices into the spotlight. By offering practical techniques to manage stress, improve focus, and cultivate inner peace, meditation and mindfulness have become invaluable tools for navigating the challenges of modern life. As more individuals embrace these practices and integrate them into their daily routines, the quest for inner tranquility and wellness continues to gain momentum. Each chapter in this series of books touches upon subjects that benefit the student and will become more relevant in the future. These chapters can be read in any order, it's not a ladder where you must take a lower step to a higher step. However, you would understand the higher better if you are more proficient at the lower level knowledge. Gaining enlightenment in life is highly complex, and you might always touch upon different levels of knowledge. Physical accomplishments are also done in a similar manner. Success doesn't come without failure, sometimes, you go back to the basics. If you like what you've heard in this book so far, you can purchase the full book on Amazon. You should see the link on the screen, stop the video and write this down. Owning your own copy will enable your growth. I read these pages often. It is invigorating, and it reminds me of the higher dimensions. Let the doors open for you. Thank you in advance and many blessings to you and your family.